Therefore, bare hands cannot touch fresh We wanted to have a requirement that required some level of uh, food safety education for temporary food vendors. A temporary food vendor is one that may uh, serve food for, from, a, from a food stand for maybe one day or up to 14 consecutive days, such as at the county fair. So at our center we are trying to see how we can use uh, virtual reality technologies for creating um, modules for training, safety. So one area that we thought we will try to see how uh, VR can be applicable is in, uh, in public health. Then we looked at what they normally do, what's the traditional way of training, and that was watching a 60 or 70 slide PowerPoint. We all know that there's only so much learning that happens in PowerPoint. In producing safe food, there are uh, defensive skills, just like defensive skills in driving. And so now we hope when someone comes in for an application, they will either show us proof of some kind of education, or if they don't have any, that they could just go into the office and uh, put on the VR headset and spend their time and finish the uh, course and show us that they completed the uh, information. Our technology is going to be used this summer uh, for the first time. I, I would say probably the very first county in the U.S. to use virtual reality for real uh, community project. I think we are very proud of it that in Champaign we could be a leader in this space which other counties and country could learn. So someone who is very well versed can finish our entire virtual reality module quickly. Or someone who's a novice who's just learning it will take a little longer, but they will see everything. So that's exactly how every module works, whether it's for medical education, for nurses, or for students, but it's very interactive. You're right there, you're a part of what you're learning.